TV6's Hiring Hoosiers works to connect you to jobs, training, and career development. We're telling stories and finding new options to better your situation and your skills. This is RTV6's Hiring Hoosiers Report. A lot of pride and dignity in employment and work and, and building your own future. Tonight, it's all about a local organization which feeds the hungry and fills the hunger of those striving for a better life. RTV6's Lauren Casey shows us how the Second Helping's culinary program can turn a person's life around. So right now, what we're about to do is Flatwater's famous Cajun pasta. Jeffrey Hartfield is turning up the heat in this Broad Ripple kitchen. Right now you smell of paradise. He's a line yeah, cook and a friendly face at Flatwater Restaurant on the Canal. So th this is more than just a job, this is a family. I'm walking down the street, hey Jeff, hey Jeff. You know, uh, this, it, I just love this place. And he got a start five years ago in the dish tank. But from the early days, he could visualize himself being a cook and he knew he had to earn it. I had no direction, no path, you know. But I've always loved to cook, and uh, I just heard through Second Helping through church. You know, I was uh, really wasn't employed, and I just said, okay, you know, I want a, I want a career. I didn't want a job. I wanted a career. This class is about opportunity. It's about building a better future. This is a big commitment, which made him the perfect candidate for the culinary training program through Second Helpings. I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I've always been one that never give up, never quit. It's like a full-time job. Students train with Second Helpings five days a week for seven weeks with homework. Everybody comes here for different reasons and with different challenges. But we do know that it does make a difference. And it does set people on a great path to self-sufficiency. For Jeffrey, he graduated from the program on March 12, 2014. He started working at Flatwater the next day. It's challenging. It's not easy. But it's worth it. You know, I mean, because if it was easy, the payoff wouldn't be as great. He's one of nearly 800 graduates of Second Helping's culinary program. Some of their graduates now in positions to hire hardworking students who come after them. They're hungry. They're not gonna miss days. They're gonna come to work knowing that they gotta start from the bottom and work their way up. Jeffrey was hungry, hungry for a more fulfilling life. Like and Cook now he finds his purpose on those busy summer nights in Broad Ripple, cooking love into his food. And I just take a peek out to the kitchen, look out here, and see everybody enjoying themselves. And I say to myself, man, I cook that food that they're eating right there. And I know this is like a cliche, but I can really say that I love my job. Voila. Voila, indeed. Thank you, Lauren Casey, for that report. At Second Helpings, students are provided with uniforms, Thank textbooks, and other assistance as needed. As part of our Hiring Hoosiers campaign, RTV6 and the Scripps Howard Foundation donated a $5,000 grant to Second Helpings to assist students with textbooks and transportation. Today, we spoke to one of the students who benefited from that grant and graduated today. I want to say thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, WRTV6. For sponsoring Class 117, we made it. You just heard from Kimberly Gorham. She was so excited. She's among the students who a couple of hours ago graduated from the culinary program there at Sec Second Helpings. And that graduation, like many others, it was joyful, it was inspiring, and it included a group of people who know casseroles, cakes, and cuisines. Each graduate savored the moment after receiving their toque, the symbol of a professional chef, the sign of completing seven weeks of study and training with Second Helpings. They are ready to slice, dice, and dish. I would like to get into a hospital and start learning more about the dietary aid options. I've just been pushing him as a single parent to just go as far as he can. He's always wanted to be in culinary arts, like he said. I'm just so proud. Damon Scruggs' mother had teared covered eyes, but she could see, with great pride, her son realizing his dream. This is my supporter, my biggest fan, my best friend, most definitely. Rachel Voss also graduated. She says there are no limits, just many options. It's been a journey, and that journey's continuing, and I hope to give back to others. 
Friends and family were invited to savor a couple of delights cooked and baked by the graduates, a taste of what hard work and dreams can accomplish given the right recipe. Congratulations to all the graduates today. If you want to take part in this culinary program, you can find more information at our website. Just go to hiringhoosiers.com. Still ahead on the news at seven, hundreds of jobs available across Indiana, biggest sectors. What you need to know when the Hiring Hoosiers report continues right here on RTV6. Hey, only on RTV6. GNC, Kroger, Zionsville Community Schools, just a few of the employers who need to fill hundreds of jobs. The Boone County Job Fair will have over 600 jobs available in a number of sectors. That's coming up Monday at the Whitestown Municipal Complex from 4 to 7 on Monday. We'll be there for that. Kyle?